do in this game. He's got the P250 coming right out into the pistol as well. Look good back on the T side. And the pistols weren't really the problem for Na'Vi. As Yanko said on the desk again, like, if Na'Vi didn't have those hot starts in both halves, they could have just got stomped out of the map. So, you know, context there is a little bit worrying. Right now, Nafani eats a nade on Ivy. And Na'Vi need the strong start. They can't afford to go down and out in the quarterfinals with CIS teams on either side of the bracket. VP waiting in the quarters. Spirit waiting in the top side of the semis. Na'Vi have a lot to prove to win Katowice in back-to-back -back years. The Gambit, the little youngsters that could and should Looking to steal things away. Pre-rotating towards that in a bomb site. Moving three players in the right place. Nade is ready as well. This could be chunky against armored or armorless players. Flamey's coming down as well. He's going to try and line up the one flash. Hobbit backing out. Shiro is tucked and he could win this round off his position alone. Ooh, enters. Getting one alongside Shiro, but lose Shiro in the meantime. And that bomb now goes down. Inter's trying to get stuck in with his USP, but nothing's presenting itself yet. Na'Vi just playing tugged, playing reserved, and making Gambit work for these kills. They will swing together and deal with Nafani. That kit has been retrieved quickly by Inter's, but time is still ticking away from the Gambit squad. And there's all the peaks to come through. Na'Vi, they get that pistol round. Looking really, really good in like the early segments of these games in RV, right? Winning the pistol back on overpass, winning a force buy as well there in the second. Now they move on to train. They take the pistol again. So the, the success rate has really been there for Navi to get off to these good starts. We just need to see them do a little bit more once that ball gets rolling because yeah. it feels like the moment the rifle rounds come through, Gambit are just back to full strength. Yeah, it's good. Uh, good sign to see Electronic get, you know, a strong start with a 3k in the pistol, right? Oh, uh, say his name and I've cursed him immediately. Shot by the scout in the face. Great there. start. Yep. Yeah, uh, he uh, he had a rough one last map. You know, position change that we talked about. And uh, maybe that comes back to bite him, but he's going to be very, very lethal on a map like Train, right? Especially on that CT side, just a very aggressive player up in your face towards T-Main, towards E-Box. But right now, this force buy might be stealing the wind of Na'Vi. The scout tags are in, and they're sublime. Shiro climbing the ladder, trying Look to get up the top. HP. Everyone is low, as you say, and Shiro could put them all to rest. Nafani has a Molotov as well. If that goes into the bomb site, that could burn these players up oh. and into the open. The Molly. Oh, it's so damn good. Gambit, they steal that round right back, and this game's heating up already, Hugo. Oh, boy, oh, boy. This is exciting. This yeah. really is. This is the inverse as well of the previous map, right? Like, you know, a Gambit taking pistol, Na'Vi steal it away, and then they start running with the T side. Well, that's not quite the same case here. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. You know that, you know, like uh, Zeus obviously likes to watch a lot of these Na'Vi games, right, and still try and back the boys. Well, this is the one map in which Zeus lives on in the hands of Boomich and Pop Dog, man. He loves the Zeus over here. So uh, watch out for that. That's more a CT side speciality yeah. that we're hoping to get out of him. But he has still opened up this round. Boomich is very acclimatized to the Pop Dog. Hey, you get something out of it, right? Navi not a team to be scared off by these force by wars. No scopes could kill Perfecto, so I'm a little scared of that one. Boomich, oh, he's trapped. And the MP9 battle won by Hobbit. Boomich was already low. Navi are grouping on Ivy. Hobbit has taken a lot of room. One of the more experienced players in the server. He knows Zeus maybe as well as Navi do as well. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of reasons for Zeus to be watching this game, right? <laughs> oh, smoke's down. Inter's playing ahead of it. Flashes out. That's thrown from main, and Inter's just concedes this for the time being. Gives them a little bit of room, but not too much room. They do get oh. close, and there's Inter's with the double. No one checking close right, and even swinging the deal with simple. Inter's having a great round up against this force bite. And it's looking like a done deal for Gambit that they've got this conversion and that a third round should be soon to follow. 
putting them off to a very good lead, 3-1 up. We haven't actually really seen Gambit on train at this event. I think they've played it versus Team 1, and that's the extent of it, right? And there, it was a dominant victory for Gambit, 16-5. to But obviously, knowing the heights that Gambit then went on to reach, it's not that surprising yeah. anymore. Outside of that, right, it's more so been, uh, you know, events that have gone by. I'm talking like DreamHack Opens and Qualifiers and things like that. We've seen them beat the likes of Spirit. You know, I think that's a pretty decent victory yeah, to have when you well. look at how well that Spirit have been doing. Plus, we've always said this about Na'Vi, you and I, Hugo, after having to cover the uh, things like the CIS RMR, uh, is that Na'Vi can be number one in the world, but not even top 10 in CIS. It's a very, very <laughs> weird thing for them versus these CIS teams. Yeah. And maybe we're seeing that rear its ugly head again today. Just simple left. They're quick to deal with him, three to one. And now we have the rifles coming back in for Na'Vi. That, that regional you know, a situation. It's not exclusive to Na'Vi though, right? We see no, it all No, a lot over, of teams are like that, yeah. yeah. All over Counter-Strike, right? You know, the best team in the country playing the second best team in the country and, and often falling to it. I mean, pretty much everyone says that. And I think somewhat of that is the hunger, right? Gambit, of course they want to beat Na'Vi. Why wouldn't you want to beat, you know, some of the players and, and the org that you maybe look up to in this game? And so Gambit, who are up a map right now in this quarterfinal, are more pumped than ever. And even 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 if it's not looking up, right, definitely the org that overshadow you, yeah. right? Like the the org that is always the one to get those invites and get those direct routes places, right? If you have the choice between inviting Na'Vi or Gambit, I think most people look at Na'Vi and go, yep, we'll get them guys in. Yeah. So definitely overshadowed by Na'Vi. Yeah, and it's rare to have, you know, young players in the CIS region not, you know, uh, taken by Na'Vi. They've got quite the rosters right now. And I say rosters, junior academy teams, etc., but uh, etc., but not the youngsters who are here ready and waiting. Pushed into main with a Molotov. Axel finds the bomb and he sees it going Ivy as well. So now the plan for Na'Vi, which was grouping with four on the Ivy position, is known by their opponents. Gambit set up for it. Inters trying to look above the boxes, will start to fall back to a safer position. The nade could be chunky as well. Actually bounces out. And this is a scary start for Na'Vi, certainly, in this gun round. It's not even the prettiest buy for Gambit. Two SMGs still in play, but they're making it work. Inters is letting them out, baiting them in to the position that he just played. Electronic does check it this time around, but the barrel gives him away. And Inters needs another or needs to stay alive. He'll go for the latter. Perfecto has to hunt him down, but he's being caught between two opponents. There's still a player remain to worry about, but Perfecto finding a couple. 20 seconds, Na'Vi do not want to let the time be their undoing once again. They're still holding. They're still waiting. <laughs> and this is giving a bit of a rough situation over. Flamey has to look back into the site. And then Hobbit hits the wow. perfect timing. Perfecto is the hero in this round. And he's almost on for the ace. But Nafani will deny it. Simple Whoa. missed shot. Nafani given a chance. And Simple is very, very quick to get a handle back on that before it gets out of hand. Two and three. Still in favor of Gambit, but Na'Vi claiming a second. The reinvestment going to come through for the Gambit squad. They're not worried yet. Perfecto with uh, with a, with an inspiring round for the rest of the Na'Vi guys, right? He really digs them out of the hole. The Gambit were looking to put them in. Four out of the five kills coming on the back of a 10 HP Perfecto. I've got to say as well, big call from Simple to plant in between the bomb trains, right? Considering they had Pop Dog when he went for the plant, it would have been easy to plant for Flamey, but he gets caught trying to cover Simple, and it's the plant that, that's actually safe for a change for Na'Vi. It doesn't get denied, which felt inevitable for Gambit, considering how Overpass went and how that position looked so yeah very very important detail there for Navi AWP's out as well simple setting towards B Hobbit waiting with plenty of utility still and it's going to be a fast approach. Electronic flashing out and not waiting. Shiro's already come in on a rotate, but they're going to be able to get past that money if they want. They're desperate for the bomb plant. They're pushing up close. And Shiro <laughs> just picking them up through smokes. Four on three. Gambit are poised for the retake. Navi haven't even got the bomb to the site. Man, Shiro is just so exciting to watch. The fact that you can be in a server with Simple and you still have the majority of people like looking at you and what you're able to put forward, that is a really nice sign for Shiro. He's done well to impress us early on. Oh, now it is just Simple left alive. Inter's deleted Shiro. 
Moving in, him and Axile trying to retake this one together and Simple playing on the ladder, still alive. Drops the molly onto the bomb. That will deny the defuse. Simple Ooh. versus Shiro. And while the no scope lands, Shiro wins the peak. And Na'Vi, the round, still so damn close, but picking up the kit, I think he's just got time. Oh, oh. My oh my, Shiro at 5 HP. Best Simple in the head-to-head, -head, both of them with three in the round. That was a one on four. He got three out of them. He hits the no scope to just menial HP on Shiro. That's a round for Simple. Born and bred. But Shiro sneaks it by with a no scope and a defuse in the final few seconds. That is unacceptable by Shiro. How on earth does that not fall the way of Simple? It felt like it had to. And the no scope, it lets him down the tag. But not for Shiro. Staying cool, calm, collected, and keeping Gambit up. So that would be that would be his, if if I'm if I'm remembering this right, that okay. would be his 17th clutch. <laughs> the record, as mentioned, was 19. But that's across 27 maps. Shiro has now played 11, including this one that we're on right now. Oh yeah, and we're seven rounds in. By yeah, the way. so there's more to come. He might not just be simple in the clutch. He might be stealing a record from the guy as well. Oh my gambit! They already killed heroic in this tournament, right? They already knocked him out in the lower bracket. Are they going to be taking more names with them? <laughs> what else can you do but laugh? Four to two. Na'Vi forced by him back in, miffed by the previous. And they're going fast as well, or at least Perfecto is, who's pushed in down Olaf. There's two players towards Sandwich. Oh my, stuck in the smoke. Spamming as well, now that gives it away. They actually had no idea how deep he was, but now all the info is in the way of Gambit. They're going to try and hound him down, but they look away, and that is the kill for Perfecto to grab himself a gun as well. Stuck in the sight of Shiro, he's committed. Oh dear, Nafani's going to get aggressive, and he might have hit the timing with players moving up Sandwich. He wants to take a bit of a bite out of their lunch. Not jumping the gun, waiting for that cross, and he will drop the bomb with it. Shiro missed shot, needs something special here to stay alive. Nafani is providing everything in the site. Simple will trade, but it's down pop for Hobbit on the B flank. Perfecto tries to hold him down, but he misses his bullets. He misses his opportunity, and now it's time for a reset for Perfecto. He gets out again. They don't know, but Hobbit is quick to keep this round alive for Gambit. Meanwhile, Shiro was running in a really trying to complicate things for a clutch. The last position Na'Vi would have expected him if it came down to the 1v1, but no need. Five to two for Gambit, and they stay above water. Gambit have come into this so fired up, you can just tell, like, you know, th th there, was, there was a lot heading into this game, like a lot of feelings, a lot of questions. You know, Na'Vi, were they a bit disappointed with not securing a straight path to the semis, obviously after falling to Liquid? Were we going to see them come back after these four days off, fired up and ready to go? Well, right now, it feels like Gambit have even more backing behind them in these games. They're off to a great start again. Prumich oh. is dead in the pop dog, naded out of the round. And so this little eco man, it's already shaping up to be a nice clean one for Gambit. They even spot these B site players. They can maybe rotate a man around now. And that's what we're going to see down in connector. Shiro peeling off, leaving the, uh, the rest of the gang to hold on to A. And so a sixth round for Gambit feels inevitable at this point in time, right? Not really much behind these pistols. A lot of information gained, a man advantage picked up. Gambit, they've got Na'Vi right where they want them on the chopping block and with one smoke in this round it's all about the b bomb plant gambit have two here they can afford to do so shiro playing at the back with the orb watching upper again and hobbit has ramp under control so no need to move no need to panic if you're gambit smokes on upper as well so might cut off the orb here He's gonna try and drop in shiro can kill them if they try that though is he wide enough? Is he ready? Oh, he doesn't see the jump. The drop comes through. Into oil they go. Hobbit with a double. Shiro picks one out of the sky. And through the smoke, Hobbit finds the final frag. It's Gambit onto six with a no casualties in sight. Hobbit looking like a really solid B anchor as well. He's had great timings on pop flanks. He's yet to offer up any kills on Na'Vi waiting in the halls. And he's been locking down B with multi-kills round after round. So six to two for Gambit. And, you know, it's a 30-round game, right? I'm not going to ever call, uh, especially a team like Na'Vi, out at this point. But it is certainly a worrying start, considering how overpass went as well. We need a round out of Na'Vi ASAP. Simple might just give it to us. Post it in main for a quick pick. The wall bang won't work.
every round Gambit have had this team main control. Every round they've been you know, taking position away from Na'Vi, smoking it off. It's really annoying for Na'Vi who at this point are, are like forced to go B without this information, without this map control. And Gambit are always double inner as a result. This orb again posted on upper. Na'Vi walking into traps laid by Gambit. Can't spell oh, Shiro oh. without misspelling Hero. Here he is, holding on to upper. Hobbit down in the sight as well. As you mentioned, this double hold allowed thanks to the info and main control that Gambit have. Shiro actually starts to peel oh, back, no. but a missed shot from Simple, uncharacteristically so, leads to Shiro out aiming him in the head to head yet again. Now holding on for the upper swing. And with someone maybe about to make their debut from this position, Shiro could get rewarded handsomely. Na'Vi have gotten out through the ramp, and this isn't information that Gambit have just yet, but they're preemptively rotating around. They've got all their bodies here in this B bomb site, and even though Shiro is blindsided by Boomich, they never knew about Hobbit, who's in with the first, make it a double, and now just Perfecto left, and this guy's in trouble. No Nafani, does he way. go for the knife? Is he going for it? Nah, he plays it safe. And he locks in a seventh round for Gambit. Yeah, I think he wanted it. He wanted he, it, but yeah. with Perfecto walking, he's yeah. like, well, I don't want to just bait my teammates to their death. So I'll take it. You I'll take the You kill. see them tuck, though. Like, yeah, Gambit they were trying to board. give it to him. They're like, yeah, man, the ball high, go for it. But yeah, you, you don't want Perfecto to just 180, go back for try, to try and get a bomb part and then kill you doing so with your knife out. So it is a safe play, although it could have been a very spicy one instead. Why am I? Na'Vi. Another eco, perhaps, as Gambit just continued to build the double lob. All simple, almost hits it that time around. It was only the scout. I don't even know if a headshot would kill through that wall. Very thick. Double lob for Gambit. Inters now on Ivy. He's been looking it down with a rifle, but the orb might not treat him as well as Electronic will find that Deagle kill. And he doesn't even commit. He could have tried to push through, but thinking there's more players there. Well, now there are. Gambit have peeled out of their positions to try and cover Ivy and Electronic can regroup with his team while their attention is diverted. Not for long though, Shiro is clearing this spot out. So he'll know soon with the help of Axar that they don't have to worry about Ivy for long. Maybe it is that B play after all, even aggressing. They want to make sure it's not just Electronic you know, tucking and baiting for later in the round. No, this position is clear. And with this info, Shiro is even rotating it all out the map, getting it gone. No pickup for Na'Vi, but he will also be B with his team. Nafani has caused his rotation as well off the back of Axar's info. And this is one hell of a B stack, but it's all Na'Vi have been going in for. Simple spotted with a scout, and down ramp they go. It's only good for one for Nafani, but Shiro will pick up a single through the smoke. Simple, oh, does hit the tag, and that will keep Shiro off the angle for now. Oh, <laughs> the head-to-head -head maybe going to happen again. Of course, this time, though, being in a... Uh... In a partial investment round for Na'Vi, you don't mind that you know, having to trade these kills oh. one for one. It's the fast wrap from what? Axile that's there just to lock the round in. They stroll over the finish line in this round. Eight now on the board for Gambit. Na'Vi in real danger of falling too far behind to even get back into this game. And we're only 11 rounds into the first half. Like, if you are going to turn this around, it needs to be soon. Like, there's still a potential that you could 7-8 split this half right down the middle. And with each round that ticks in favor of Gambit, with the money starting to build out of control, you've got to grind back into this game. You know, there's no more freebies anymore at this point in time. Yeah, and Na'Vi don't know how, you know, how predictable they're being right now. The, the info that Gambit are getting in the city side is second to none, right? Main taking control almost every round. That time, it's Ivy, it's Axe walking the entire way through Ivy to T-Spawn up into Inner B and Na'Vi just get flanked on the post plan. They try and get the picks onto Shiro. They try and finish the job that Simple started. But Gambit just wait. And Axel comes in with three off a flanking ramp. It's just so suffocating. And again, look at Main. Locked down by the utility. Na'Vi aren't even taking it. For good reason, right? You know what may lurk on the other side. Nafani's waiting, and he could even get flashed in as well. Axol is above the train clearing corners, and now Main conceded yet again for, Na for Na'Vi. They don't even try and go back to it. Surely it's not another B play. Na'Vi have been more than unsuccessful in converting these rounds. The only time they've gotten close has been simple with that near one on four. Shiro here again. Why wouldn't he be? 
They've been smoking him off on upper from time to time. And that needs to continue. If Flamey just straight up peaks, he's a dead man walking. Yeah, he switches from the... Uh, back to the flash, actually. Flash him first, smoke in later, and the oh. peak is in. Shiro blind and was expecting that smoke to fall. So now Hobbit pressures really nice. on and Perfecto giving the openers over. There's that fast flank again coming in through the back line. This time it's Nafani to deal with Electronic. But in a three on four, do Gambit just write this round off and go for the save with no kills presenting themselves into the bomb site? That might be the case. And so Na'Vi, they are onto this third. That eight, seven half is still possible, albeit unlikely. And it is going to feel like a real uphill battle for Na'Vi. The money is so put together for this Gambit squad that they're still buying next round. And even with guys like Axile, you know, actually, I don't think he has to drop over yet. So him and Shiro having this much of a bank really going to come in handy looking into the future. Na'Vi are going to have to grind their way through these buys before they break the money of Gambit. Yeah, and even though Gambit knew what was going on there as they have a seemingly all CT side long right with that flank again, this time from Nafani, it, it's not enough on the B-hold. Na'Vi finally get both entries from Perfecto and Gambit get nothing out of it. No kills from Hobbit or Shiro. So it, it finally forces the save. And about time that Na'Vi get back on the board. As said, three times winning over Gambit historically. But we're here and now. We're in the present. And Gambit have given us quite a gift. Eight to three. Na'Vi back in with guns. And Gambit stick to the single orb this time around. Oh, Shiro switching it up, right? He tried to change how he's playing B on the back of getting smoked off all the time. He hung around peeking wider upper. This time he's repositioned completely down for a close ramp peak. Doesn't see anything right away and they hear the scopes and RV, they halt that play for the moment and they just post up, they wait. Silence all across the map. And this time, Gambit don't have that main control that they've been able to get round after round. So they don't have the early info either. That does mean that Shiro and Hobbit out on a bit of an island over here at B. On smoke throwing in. More utility now for Na'Vi. Oh raining into this B bomb site. And the flash is good again. But this time, it doesn't get them the opening kill onto Shiro. And he is able to drop a Molotov. That slows down this push. He even peeks with it. And he had a chance there for the opening kill. Perfecto runs through the Molotov and gets brought down very, very low in the process. Shiro's not giving over a fight. And Hobbit's just tucked on the bomb train. This is a bit of a disaster. Na'Vi, they were hinging on getting these gunfights. And they haven't been given any... Simple at least gets out of there with one, but a two on four now for him and Electronic as they fast drop down through pop. Yeah, 15 seconds to go. Na'Vi, they often find some sanctuary in this low time, but right now it might be the backstab for Axel. Oh, he scores the kill. Does take down Simple, fake on the plant, and Axel's there to dance around the bomb train. It's Gambit up to nine, and again, more reads, more rotations, more stacks that Na'Vi walk into. At this point, it's not surprising for Gambit. Na'Vi have only gone B in this map almost every single round, and so Nafani, who's playing inside a pop, you mentioned they don't have that main control. Well, they still had a good bit of info, and I think he hears footsteps or something because he just runs out of pop and pre-rotates B. He's in the bomb site with Hobbit and that forces Na'Vi out. They get nothing done on inner. And so Simple and Electronic, a troublesome twosome. They try and rotate outer, but Gambit haven't left the bomb site. They haven't fully rotated. So good patience from Axile to remain stagnant. And Gambit, I mean, there's there's nothing they can do wrong at this point, right? The only round Na'Vi have had, you know, in, in, in the last seven, has been that one double entry for Perfecto that wasn't traded. And Gambit just go, yeah, fine, you can have it. We've got everything else. We've got the money to show for it. Nine to three. And Na'Vi, with every round that ticks away against them, it gets more and more scary as Katowice could be coming to a close for the previous year's victors. They don't want to go out with a whimper. Yeah, I mean, if you lose this, right, you can see it now. Na'Vi can't be the best in the world. They're not even the best in their region. Those are the kind of comments that will get made. You just know it. You feel it. 
Oh. Man, this utility into main is so punishing. Yeah. For the first time as well, Na'Vi trying to fight here early on. They haven't really uh, dealt with what Gambit have been dishing out in main. Flamey at least trades that pop kill, but Axile pushed up close Ooh. in Olaf. Perfecto does get out past him, and Shiro has got no idea. Axile's now out of the round, and Shiro, oh, he's quick to react. Simple trades it at least. Hobbit's dead on the B push, and in the blink of an eye, it is all left onto just one man. Inter has tucked in at stopper. Simple, scoped on the angle. It's a pretty scary place to find yourself on the other side of this AWP. Navi grinding to a temporary halt as they search for this last remaining man. They haven't seen him yet. Simple, scoped up, sees the barrel as that smoke starts to fade. And so there's four on the door for Na'Vi. Not the round I thought they would succeed in, right? Like, look at those positions for Gambit, the HEs that are banging Na'Vi out in main, doing a lot of damage. And, you know, Perfecto hits a perfect timing, but simple getting this kill to Axile as a smoke fades actually kills Perfecto. It works out for Na'Vi, but uh, Gambit weren't even considering that a player could have gotten through main. Shiro could have just been killed by Perfecto walking through Sandwich. But simple trades it at least, and even finds that third kill at the end of the round. So keeps Na'Vi afloat on four and the t side you know six rounds that's fine it's not perfect but it will do fast out main for perfecto and he gets punished by it flashed out and Naphne was avoiding it looking into the wall does get that opening kill the nade for boomage misses and Naphne with four points of health remaining somehow darts back to safety in the heavens as well good position for a one and done kill right hoping that navi just never check it i mean navi they're not even thinking about the A site. They're barely getting out. They didn't in the previous round. In that three and one, they just tucked in, waiting for the kill to come to them. And it, while it did, it's not something you can always rely on. As they try and make a move out main, Gambit now fall back with this double in a setup that has won them so many rounds. Maybe not for long. Shiro leans towards the connector, and now he can rotate into the A site as smoke start to land. Yeah, a lot of control in Ivy is given up, but that's to allow this late peak from Inter. Simple shuts him out and doesn't let the Ivy trade come in. Suddenly, Shiro is starting to feel a lot more pressure inside of A. And Navi haven't even committed yet. This bomb is going all the way back, along with Simple. Over towards main. Looking to come in late on the split. Hobbit posted up over here at CT side, Ivy. Molly into the connector. Gambit know that this is still shaping up to be an A play. And there's Shiro with the opener down into a three on three. They spot Boomich and they deal with him quickly. Suddenly this has turned in favor of Gambit once again. While Simple's gotten close, he's blindsided by Naphany up in the heavens. And Flamey with only seven seconds, he needs all three kills or else the round is lost. And that's not going to happen. Gambit just aren't giving them over. Round ends and Flamey at least stays alive with this AK. Oh, does get tagged through E-Box, but like admittedly three, for like yeah. 10 damage. So he's all right there. Regardless, you know, you hold on to the AK. That is a that is not even a consolation prize for giving over a 10th round to Gambit. Yeah, it looks like suicide for Naphany there, but he's trying to upgrade his gun, right? Stuck on a Famas. And a great round for him to, to get this opener, turn around like that to Perfecto. And then, like I said, hide in heaven. The last place that Na'Vi expected, they get all the room on A. They force Gambit out. Hobbit has good patience on Ivy to not peek into Electronic, who's waiting for him. And then, yeah, Naphany is the, you know, the, the closer. The thing that forces the save. As the bomb gets dropped out in No Man's Land, Na'Vi looking for five at the half. Simple might get gifted a kill here. Will Hobbit's patience again be key? Because he's waiting to peek off of Shiro's contact. But even if Shiro gets that contact, Simple ain't moving. So let's see how this plays out. Shiro with his shot. Hobbit might just peek. And there it is. He catches Perfecto. And Shiro drops the second. The barrel's been spotted. And Hobbit looks to clear it up. And Shiro steals the kill away. Out, be, out orping Simple yet again with a third. And B is not the answer for Na'Vi. It may have taken them 15 rounds to see but they can barely get into the bomb site. Not a point of damage done. An electronic with what would be one of the best rounds of the decade is not going to fall into fruition. It's 11 versus four. Gambit are looking destro like they're destroying Na'Vi right now. Is there any hope? Is there any safety? Can Na'Vi rely on anything as we go into the second half?
first time I came across Shiro was actually just scrolling to HLTV, probably working an event, and they released one of, another one of their One for the Future articles, which is basically about young, new, talented future prospects, so to speak. Very early on, it was obvious that he was the star player of the team, obviously being the opera. If you look at his stats just from the play-ins and the main group stage, he's got over 60% with his AWP kills. I think over 200 plus kills, there's like 170 of them are just with the AWP. But that's not all about Shiro, right? He's not just hitting the shots with the big green. He's actually having a lot of impact in these clutch situations. I think he has a good knack of knowing when he needs to be aggressive and when to go for aggressive plays, but also understanding when his team is in a good position already. There's no rush. There's only one round left. If they lose this, we're done and dusted. Shiro has found the first. He hears Kalinka's steps onto the site. There should be at least a trade. Shiro does find it a 2v2. Oh, Shiro! He's a player who you're going to see with the orb in his hand more often than not. There's a lot of people out there who probably regard him as the next simple, right? The next big star from the CIS region. And kicking it off with a man advantage. Make that another for Jokovic. Hero just going ham. Two kills in response. Looking for more. Seems to be aware of his opponent and gets him through the corner. He needs to close this alone. And he might just kill him. He's making that impact in 16, 14 close games, getting his boys across the line and doing it like it's easy. And that's a difficult thing to be doing against the top teams in the world. I think the online environment obviously takes away a chunk of the pressure, but for a lot of these guys, and Gambit and Shiro is no exception, this is still the biggest event that they've ever taken part of, LAN or online aside. And that's gonna put a lot of pressure on these A defenders to make it happen. Shiro, oh my word, four kills! has what it takes to one day play at as high of a level as Simple does. It's the quarterfinals of Karavica. Gambit, a map up in this series already. And now on the map pick of Na'Vi, they stand 11-4 on the back of a ludicrously strong CT side. Na'Vi, time is running out. Chances are running out to keep this dream alive. The defending champions of Karavica may be about to head out in the quarterfinals unless something changes here and now. Something, something happens when you put Gambit in Poland because boy, oh boy, are they showing up. Na'Vi looking like a deer in headlights right now. Lost on that T side, B hit after B hit and Shiro styling on them with the AWP out orping simple right now who at least was showing up in a big way back on overpass. Huge on those opening kills with Na'Vi not had many in this map. Boomish, three frags to his name, and this is not what we needed from Na'Vi, but it might be all they've got. Fast out into the B side. There's a pick for Axel. Simple is tucked, but he's given away his position, and they're running right by him. Hobbit from above, and Gambit picking Na'Vi apart yet again. It's all too familiar territory on the train yard. Five on two, and you may as well save. Oh, it's not looking good, is it, Hugo? It's not looking good for Na'Vi. You know, as mentioned, back on overpass where Gambit won a pistol, Na'Vi were able to pick up a force buy. Maybe that happens again, but if it doesn't, their ability to get this game turned around is almost out the window. It's going to take something unreal. Yeah, it'd be more impressive than the start that Gambit have here, but, you know, I'll, uh, I'll believe it when I see it, Harry. Na'Vi, they may have had tough times before, but this one might just be one step too far. And to think the form that Na'Vi had coming into, you know, this tournament and, in, and what they've shown us across the last few days as well, a 10 match winning streak. Gambit may have been hot to trot, but right now, Na'Vi going down like a lead balloon and 12 to four 
Poor simple as well, right? He has a great position for that B play. If they come out and try and flood the bomb site, he he can kill everyone. But they run right by the lane. No one even goes to default. Gambit just aggress past Gray, and it's Hobbit who just kills him from above. Double scout for Navi. Gambit going fast, or at least Nafani is flashed out into the A site, and he spots one of those scouts as well, but mollied off his flamey. Oh, Nafani going to give it up. He knows that nades could land on his position, and in fact they do. Molotov sends him packing. Uh, Navi might not know that he escaped, and so they're still aware. They're still scared of what could be lurking in Olaf. Boomich is going to clear it out, or at least try to. Perfecto's pushed inner, which causes that rotate of Simple back to the yard. Yeah, Simple also peeked the upper shelf and didn't see anyone. Now Flamey gets info that there are a lot of bodies in Ivy, and Electronic doubled up with him here. Trying to turn the tide is only good for the first kill. Him and Flamey both out of the round. Simple is at least rotated in with that scout to try and make a difference. And he does have Boomich backing him up, but Gambit on the back of getting these kills so early in the round and now sat in a four on three, they know the pressure is all on Na'Vi. And so they just slow it right down. Oh, wow. They say to Na'Vi, look, <laughs> if you want the information, come and get the information. You are not going to like what you see if you go around this corner. Na'Vi being given time to second guess themselves to get worried about that vacant B bomb site. It hasn't triggered a rotation yet. Na'Vi are just stacking their chips. They're hedging their bets all over towards this A bomb site. Simple holding on to Ivy is about oh. to have a lot of players into his crosshair. He's just looked away. And in that timing, Axile's gotten out. Now he gets the info that one man is passed. Simple traded after the first. Boomich, not many kills in his repertoire. This would be the round to get them, but only one. And now just Perfecto oh. does drop the bomb. Run. They need the kill. And Perfecto gets away. He might have locked in the round. In fact, he has. It belongs belongs to Na'Vi as they steal that one away. The four spy does pay dividends over to Na'Vi. Perfecto, great ability to just drop the bomb and get the hell out of there. Knows that that is how he wins the round. Yeah, and Na'Vi, the balls to stick with that call on the yard, right? With that reset of Gambit where they just fall out and they hold and they wait for a peak, they get nothing. And you, you hope if you're Gambit there, that Na'Vi just over-rotate and read it wrong and go B. That's the intention, but Simple hits his scout shot. Boomich goes one for one. And even though Boomich dies after one, he does enough damage. The Perfecto body shots the planter. That's all he needs, a single bullet. And that may have saved Na'Vi, who may not have had the pistol, but do have a force bite. It's better than nothing. Simple back with a scope. It's not the orb, but it will do. He's shown us an entourage of armory in this map and series already, but Hobbit finding a pick out B. Will that bait them into Simple? No, not for Hobbit. He won't fall for it. Jumping, forcing a shot. And Simple gives it up. Doesn't want to hang around. Is still alone on this B-bomb site. And if Gamma can turn the tides early, if Gamma can just shut down this rebuy from Na'Vi, keep the force by wars going while trading rounds, that's uh, that's a semi-final right there for Gambit. Navi need to lock this one in from a man down as well. Simple. Will he see them up? There's a lot of players here. He crosses the oil. Not even jumping as well, so he won't give away any info to a player peeking. Although they're not yet. 50 seconds. And even Boomich here to help. Oh, well, that nade could be big. Lots of damage spread across Whoa. Gambit. The spray for Simple. Has dealt with the first man in. Now more players try to tiptoe their way out upper and Boomich is spammed out of the round. Simple, still a threat, still lurking over here towards B, but he won't be able to stop that bomb plant. Nafani's canceled out and Shiro's been spotted. For him and Inters, they are trapped in this site, fighting tooth and nail to hold on to this bomb plant. Simple, close on the Ooh. wrap. Gets heard in the molly, and now Shiro's made aware. In the head-to-head, -head, Simple's been struggling, but this time he deals with Shiro without breaking a sweat, and the defuse is in for Na'Vi. 6-12. to 12. A bomb plant at least gives a little more money over to Gambit. Maybe we can see that orb bought out that much sooner as a result. This is at least good to give us more of a series, right? To, to put more on the line for Na'Vi. It was really worrisome with that opening pistol going in favor of Gambit that that was just going to be Na'Vi squashed without without really any stake in the second half at all. Now they've got something at least to try and hold on to. Yeah, Gambit are even rebuying as well. So, you know, a, a sigh of relief for Na'Vi, but it won't last long. 
Will they be expecting an eco here? Gamma have the room to make this force buy happen, right? Double the round to their opponent, but if it does go the way of Na'Vi, well, that just picks up momentum. That just picks up steam and pace for this CT side comeback. And if there were ever a time, no time like the present, no time like the quarterfinals. Oh, Boomich in main as well. He's got good info. He could even catch Axar leaving if he wants to go one step further. Does Axar run? If he does, that's footsteps Boomich will hear. That's info that B is not clear, and Axar's made a bit of noise, so already Na'Vi moving two into the site. Some police is uh, shot from the scout, but Perfecto from a range picks up Nafani on the bomb train. Hobbit chases down Simple, but he can't see the second man in, and Electronic provides cover to Perfecto as now Na'Vi have flooded this B bomb site. Plant is in, but the retake should be happening. Shiro with the scout. Damage done, and they're just using it to supplement these deagles. Inters takes a second, but caught by the aggressing MP9s. Oh, it's down to the 1v1, and it's a low HP boom. It's swung by Axile to put 13 on the board for Gambit. They're back building upon this lead again and bringing the money of Na'Vi to a screeching halt at this point in the game. Na'Vi are now faced with a horrible choice. You either force buy on the players that can afford it, right? You've got simple, electronic, and flamey with enough cash to bring rifles into this round. Boomich and Perfecto don't. And this decision, it feels like it decides it all for Na'Vi, right? If this, if this force that they've elected to go for in round number 20 doesn't go their way, Gambit have likely paved the path into those semi-finals. Yeah, what a way to do it as well, right? Like using a Na'Vi-esque force against them, rebuying on the T side. They could have taken one eco and just chilled out and just waited a bit. Come in with an orb, come in with four rifles. No, Gambit haven't got time for those shenanigans. And keeping up the force by wars has kept Na'Vi on their knees. Two pistols, two orgs, and an M4 are all Na'Vi can afford. Perfect though, he's looked good in this series as well. Him and Simple. Top two back on overpass. Same story here. Boomer just had a bit of a resurgence, right? Doubling his kills in just the first five rounds of this half. But, you know, three kills on the T side, that was not enough. And Na'Vi are fighting what feels like a losing battle. Only they themselves can make it winnable. And it all goes quiet again. That's a cheeky smoke. Inters. Oh, trade stinks and gets out of there alive. The Molotov, I say alive, not far. He will die, but so will Electronic, who swings into the fire and flames. Oh, it even no. spreads. And Boomich will not get out with the gun, nor Boomich. his life. Oh, that is a disaster. That is the worst possible thing that could have happened in a round like this. Boomich tries to retrieve the gun. The Molly spreads and finishes him off. Ooh. And now Na'Vi are really hot under the collar. They're a man down up against 13 in a force buy where if they lose it, their money is gone. It's all on the line and Gambit can feel this one getting ever closer. Flamey. Taking this peek in a main, gets the info that there's one. Second man out is dropped by Flamey. He's having a peel down, but he loses Simple over at Ivy side. They know that they've got Flamey trapped here, and he's desperately calling for Perfecto to come and help him out. But Perfecto's on a solo journey in through those upper halls. Flamey is here alone and having to try and hold on to A as Gambit Whoa. move in. They deal with Perfecto. They put a lot of faith in that flank finding something, and now it is just Flamey left. Bomb down. Overwhelming oh. odds against him. And Shiro there to put 14 on the board for Gambit. No money for Na'Vi. And so Gambit feel it. They might be on to a winner. This was just what brutal. Happened? Like, what? Boomich, why did you think that that was livable? Oh, he got the M4. I mean, he picked it up, but he didn't go far with it, Harry. Yeah, I don't know. That's just, I think Na'Vi are probably in their heads at this point. I don't blame them, right? The, the calling on the T side was not there for Na'Vi. This map has not been great to them as of late, and we saw the results of that. Whatever their game plan was on the T side got read well by Gambit. And now Na'Vi Eco up against 14. This is it for Gambit. This is their bread and their butter. They're eating all three meals at once, chowing down on the CIS legends that are Na'Vi. And Gambit, they've got to be grinning from ear to ear. Just got to take their time to get it over the line. 
Slow and steady wins the race. Ollie's in pop. Simple's forced. He's had enough at this scoreline. Can barely blame him. Looking for the ladder. You can get good info from this position, right? You can spot players going up or down. Oh, he's got a lineup. Naughty, but nothing to be found from it. Oh, pushed into main. Boomish, okay. No Molotov this time around, and at least he gets out alive, but not with a gun that he so desired. Dink even onto Nathan. <laughs> this is very naughty stuff, but it surely shouldn't convert around with USPs. You'd hope not, right? Uh, but it's looking like it could happen. Uh -oh. Electronic digs Hobbit out of the round and now down to three for Gambit. This was not a round that Na'Vi were ever meant to find success in. And so the fact they're in a five on three is already a great spot to be in. But now they finally lose Boomich. It's a very late trade from Shiro. Oh. Spotted back on the bomb train, and now Gambit make their move. Tiptoeing their way up towards a Flamey with the USP. Pete can't quite find anything yet, and Axile deletes him. The bomb plant has to come in, and Simple's not able to deny it. The scout whittled down, and that's it. Gambit up to 15, onto a winner. One away from knocking Na'Vi out of the playoffs, from continuing on to those semifinals. And Na'Vi left scratching their heads as to what went wrong. Yeah, and this is the result that, that we maybe talked about that could have happened on overpass, right? Navi had the pistols and the momentum off the back of both of them, at least the four spies in the first, and, and that game was clo close as a result. Well, here in this map, Navi have been, you know, they've won the pistols and they get forced on, or they just lose it straight out and they lose the four spy wars eventually. So without that early start, look at the result. Shiro silencing simple. And just like that gambit, they might be onto a winner. Five on four. 15 to 6, and it almost feels inevitable. Yeah, they, they just look so composed, right? They know that this isn't a sprint to the finish. They can walk it over the line. They can keep it slow. They can get in the heads of Na'Vi. Gambit are not under any pressure, especially not being in a 5-on-4. Removing Simple as well. The heavy hitter of Na'Vi cancelled out. And now from beyond the grave, he's got to put faith in his four teammates to keep the dream alive. Gambit picking up the pace and getting stuck into A. Boomich holding this close angle. Made it out, flashed as well. They seem very aware of this possibility. And Whoa. Boomich trades places, will drop the bomb. That's information at least. There's an upper flank coming in. But this A site gets dismantled by Nafani. And suddenly there's one man left. Gambit, all that stands between them and sending Na'Vi home was perfecto. They walk it over the line. Gambit take it 2-0. and oh. Na'Vi, the defending champions, their run is cut short in the quarterfinals by Gambit.